Hi Tosin Olu, hi, hello everyone, how are you doing? So um, I'm going to, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, I'm going to welcome you to the Daddy Freeze channel and I want you all to know that here we deal with mature topics. If you are childish, if you are childish, this place is not for you. Hello? Some people say I don't take criticism. I don't criticize people on their pages. You will never see me go to Salman's page and go and criticize him on his page. If I feel your matter has gotten to the point of criticism, I will criticize you on my page. Criticize me on your page, not on my page. Because much of what you people think is criticism is actually some people coming to my page to try to get likes. Once I notice that, if you do it politely, you are trying to stir the conversation so you can get, get a following. I will just restrict you. So only you'll be seeing what you comment. When I restrict you, I delete your comment. It's a warning shot. If you comment that I delete your comment, then you are going to be blocked. Someone is saying you don't judge case truthfully sometimes, coin baby. The case between you and the fact that a human can live for 20 years without one single brain like this, I know if you judge them. Because you have a, a vast amount of experience in being senseless. I don't have that experience. So honestly, I can't judge you. Rules and regulation given out. If you have the right to criticize me on your page, go and criticize me there. If you don't ever see me go to your page, go criticize them there. I will criticize them on my page. Go and get a following. Lazy youth. Go and work hard. Let people follow you so you can criticize me. But if your criticism is respectful, and I can say that you are not using it to chase cloud, don't worry, it's our work. Cloud is our work. If I can see that your criticism is respectful and it's not coming from a place of cloud, and it's not politely condescending or politely rude. You know the politely rude? One guy came to my page. I was not rude to Selman. The guy came to my page and said, I'll be talking like foul. Ah. If you say as this guy be, he'd be like Coco inside the bar. He'd talk nonsense. I will drag you. I'm warning you, there are two things I can do to you. I can drag you like crazy and I can rapture you. Respect my page. As they see all those Jews, you cannot comment negative on their page. Go and try it. Just try it. Use your fake account and comment one negative comment on their page and see whether they don't block you. This new generation Jews that they talk about, go and comment on their page and see if they will not block you. Try it. So, we are here at today's topic and today's topic is a very, very important topic. If you are watching on TikTok, I keep telling you this is how to watch Daddy Freeze on TikTok. Hold your phone like this. Use your teeth and bite your phone like this. Then you start this. Double click the screen, double click the screen. Pop my money guns. Now, I'm using a lot of data to transmit YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. If I don't see my stars, my super chats, my money guns, I will close the channel and, and focus only on Instagram. 
the reason why i block a lot of people is on, on instagram so that they can go and pay to watch but when they are watching for free i will block them the only thing i do for free is preach the other day i entered uber the uber not get ac i complain you people say ah daddy freeze you you are complaining did the uber not move i said look at these people that deserve the mediocre the, the mediocre leaders that they have i'm paying a full fare for an uber and he cannot put ac and the excuse is the car is moving why don't i take a yellow cab then if i want a car that does not have ac can i then take a yellow cab why am i paying for uber the uber you enter in america does it not have ac does it not have ac people doing uber business want to build house out of it instead of you to first stabilize the uber business and make sure you have the next car ready you are doing uber and want to from there live a life of luxury then your passengers are coming and you are not you are not owning ac for them after i've paid for the uber you are now coming to my channel you are not paying subscription you are not buying anything and then you are telling me that i should do it for free no go better for your papa i'm not in the mood today just carry your wall and be going the ac got spoiled this morning Baba, me too, I wicked do. I wicked. I see that kind of Uber like that. I tell the guys, hey, say how they come. I just go back inside the hotel reception. Go call lag like, right, leave the Uber there, they wait. The guy come and say, ah, wait till you do no good, or you don't leave me here, they wait. I say, wait till I want to do before. I keep you there, they wait, so you know, go, go carry another person, punish him. I'm doing the world a service, protecting them from you and your wicked motto. We're not gay. Another one, the, the car go, they go, 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 You go pick person from airports. No be VI to VI, airport to island, and you no get shock absorber. Then the car will go blue, blue. It would not be like say the whole back of the car will come out. Enter, you enter any tiny gallop like this. So, please respect yourself. You will not watch Netflix for free. You will not watch DSTV for no matter how they increase the price of DSTV. Una go gather there. Meanwhile, una go gather here in the evening when I came. I had one thousand people, one thousand one hundred people watching me. No subscription, nothing. Someone said you should have given some support money to fix the A, his AC. You are Dogu now. That's you being entitled. That's you being entitled. Why don't I contribute money so that our senators can have Jeep? Why do you always support people who are poor and mediocre? If you cannot do bad business, leave it for those that can do it. Look at that. You should have given some support money to fix his AC. Nami being papa. Nami being papa. Was the AC not working in the car? He cannot maintain the car. He's doing Uber. He should leave the Uber and go and push uh, trolley in the market. Entitled foolish mentality. As I see as person dance, I should give him. So, so i should give up. let me tell you we repair his ac tomorrow so how many things do i want listen in life so when something is not sustainable it's like you don't have sense i should instead give you money to go and borrow sense i say not run rampant in your family so you fix ac tomorrow tomorrow i'll give him money to do shock absorber b see reasoning of 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 as in alone your own reasoning that tower i suppose give you for face forget any other thing where you can lying by juni oh stupid How you go talk that kind of thing? Tomorrow I go buy an foil. Now me being husband. Uber drivers, out of the money where you make, stop buying designer clothes, 
or fake this way kukule rod it's not fake now like kukun ran there stop wearing fake stop maintain your motto maintain your motto entitled mentality eh, can't you help him when i was poor and struggling i came to lagos with a rucksack how many of you gathered to help me and it's just to help eh, another lazy youth when he, when the car came from america as tokumbo did he not have ac lagos road bad lagos road bad then budget for your shock absorber turn down walk that is going to carry you to where the road is very bad Stop. When I came to Lagos, how many of you helped me? How many of you? Stop being a lazy, entitled youth. Stop it. You are the problem of our country. Buari don't talk as a lazy youth. Eh... The man called Abayomi. Ah, God, we bless you. And you just enter my trap like this. You know, look road before you cross. Now, so your papa to know they look road before you cross. This Mugu, Malu behavior, na DNA day. I day stingy. If you know a stingy person, you are entitled. Why am I not saying Buari is stingy? Why am I not saying Tinubu is stingy? Why am I not saying people that have more money than me are stingy? You know why? Because I don't work for them. What is making me entitled to their money? As you did, you see set person where they stingy, you are entitled. Olori Buruku, Alai, Dalai, Gulo. Eh? Koto da bi igbe malu. We re fun o jukpo bi, bi, bi furo rakumi. O waso re lai mi oni you are stingy. Why am I not saying uh, PDD is stingy? Why am I not saying the video is stingy? Because I don't need them for money. What makes me entitled to the video's money? Or Wiz Kids money? Or Bonner Boy's money that I will say they are stingy? As you are seeing them, they have never bought drink for me. They have never sent me five naira. And they are not stingy because I don't need their money. I like lock polo lo sho lori buruku lazy youth o fe ni se laye abayo mi abara lo yo e o so she kin fun e labara leyin orun please 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 before i'm not even entering the gist i want to make sure all the worries have been raptured my body is stingy Please, another person talk nonsense so I can I can enter you. I'm in the mood this night. Stingy. You are too stingy. That's your brain, your mentality. How many Ubers do I want to help? If you are running Uber, maintain your car. Simple. Maintain your car. I'm waiting for I'm looking for another everybody just the behavior, they just the talk better thing. Please talk nonsense now. I'm not ready to talk about this topic. I never ready. Anytime I ready, I will let you know. That's how your parents were entitled. They gave them a country that was thriving, they ate it to the bone. No wonder they gave birth to entitled children. Fasting has ended for today. We enter back shin or to back cross or the source of me by Ogbo or Olomagbo. Let me tell you, go and sit down, have a meeting with your healing app, and tell them fuel is more expensive. Sit down, negotiate something. 
the hailing app knows that you will make a profit they are not stupid they know you will make it profit but they also know that you are greedy you want to build house inside uber is not the business that you build house inside it's a business that you do and maintain your family greed is the second entitlement laziness the third problem you have is greed I don't they talk and they come. I don't they talk and they come. I don't they talk and they come. I go begin the screenshot on a number on a moto and I go begin to tell people to me they not enter your moto. Say your moto not get easy. I know you, you know me when I they start my own, I small small, they start my own. Fuel is too expensive. Fuel is too expensive. So I say people they do Uber, they buy house for UK. People they clean floor, they buy house for UK. Please, not they use UK or US. Take measure Nigeria. Person they work for bank, you know, agree buy house, you know, see house buy, they talk of Uber for Niger. And UK get good road, maintain your car. That was all this argument that people are arguing. Maintain your car. Mm. So I say I talk too much. Your papa thinks too little. Your father thinks too little. That's why he allowed the Ewure we carry your belly. Instead of me, he give an ordinary posting. No, you don't even need posting or two because when you will live with it. I'm a friend posting or your collapson. Sazi George. Ah. A woman, you know, she dabi from a jar. 620 per liter. You don't know that that's one of the cheapest wells in the world. 620 per liter. Ha, please, how much do they sell fuel in the UK? UK people, please, how much do they sell fuel there? Do you know what 620 naira is? Like one third of a dollar. Like 40 cents. Less than one third of a pound. Like 20p. Do you know 629 is like 20p? How do you want to buy fuel of 20p? Please, how much? Please, how much is fuel in the UK? No more say it's 14 pounds a liter. Please. How much? one pound 38 do you know what one pound is only the one pound is two thousand naira one pound 38 is like two thousand three hundred naira you are now comparing to where they are selling 30p petrol Canada is one dollar forty eight. It's about three thousand naira per liter if you compare with the US and the UK. Please leave the US and the UK. Let's focus on developed and developing nations. The reason why your government is the way it is because they don't maintain the country. You, your country is your car. Maintain it. You are there complaining about the government. Have you maintained your car? Okay, fuel is expensive. Nice to make you get body odor. Now, for you want you to take bath, can we start talking about their body odor now? One came to carry us the other day, the car was even neat. But when you come on, be a book on taste boy start to complain. Say, Oh, she almost came down from the car. Say, Baby, just manage it. Let's talk about body odor. Let's talk about dirty cars. You wake up in the morning, you cannot wash your car. Now, petrol, you won't take you to wash the motor. The next thing here is soap is expensive, sponge is expensive. Useless set of people. Lazy and entitled. Your car. Let's understand okay, your AC not work, but your motor they clean. And you bath. 
We never bath three days. We don't feel fix AC. We don't feel wash moto. Olo, oh, no. Smell low. So, I think I have. I have finished dealing with the foolishness out there. I love you, bad drivers, but I think I need to give you this warning because I, when I know they try, when I know they try, when I know they try. So let's talk about Lord Lamba, Baba. My former post, I said Lord of Lamba. Now, any person send me a message, Daddy Free is not Lord of Lamba, it's Lord Lamba. I'm going to open up this discussion so we can have a conversation. Egungo, how are you doing? So, let us talk about this Lord Lamba issue. And I started talking about it earlier on. I said Lord of Lamba. You know, I don't know the guy. I don't watch Big Brother. You see, you, got, you have to understand that. I don't watch Big Brother. I don't watch DSTV. I hardly watch skits, except it pops up on my phone. Or Ada Blessing sent it to me. Even Ada Blessing said, no, they really send skit again. Ada, yeah. Ada Blessing, if he send you three skits in one day. If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen. Pop that money gun. Hey, somebody don't pop my money gun. I know you're going to see him. Floyet 100. Pop my money gun. So, my issue is not the people. My issue is the story surrounding it. A lot of people are complaining. Niger Prince Swan just sent me $50 on YouTube. Ah, these are the kind of people I want to be seeing. $50. Ah, that's some people's five hours work in America. I don't, no, don't mind me, I just they jab you. So, here's the story. I said this earlier on. If you are married and you are listening to me, the likelihood that you'll be married in five years is far less than the likelihood that you'll be divorced, according to statistics. The likelihood that you'll be married the likelihood someone said do i have bc wallet yeah 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 send me a dm i'll give it to you the likelihood so big shout out to niger prince one god bless you brother thank you very much i appreciate you if you are watching on tiktok double click the screen if you are watching on youtube that place where you type you will see a rectangle that has dollar sign in the middle click on it that's how to buy super chat super stickers If you are watching on Facebook, I'll read your comments if they have a thousand stars and above. Let me tell you something here. Yeah? The likelihood that you are going to be married in five years, if you are married now, is far less than the likelihood that you are going to be divorced. Some of you, your marriages are working because you are in Nigeria. The moment you cross over abroad, the marriage will not work again because the dynamics will change. Some of you are married. Your marriage is working because you have money. If you lose that money, your the dynamics will change. Some of you is because your wife doesn't have money. The moment she starts to have money, the dynamics will change. There are so many things that change the dynamics of a marriage. Five years is really a long time. What happens to all you women and men who are divorced in five years? It means there are going to be a new crop of single mothers. There's going to be a new crop of single fathers filling up the marketplace. And somebody has to marry them. These single mothers and single fathers that are going to be pumped into the marketplace are going to be married by somebody. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day. 
She's 37 years old. And she's waiting for her husband. I said, babe. Wow. Niger Prince sent me another $50. Wow. Today is my birthday. New birthday. God bless you, Niger Prince. Oshie. Brother. So I was telling this, my friend who's 37 years old. I was like, you've got to have a kid. Do you want to have kids? She said, yes. I was like, you're not going to wait to marry if you want to have kids at 37. If you truly want to have kids at, in your life and you are 37 year, years old, start thinking of having the child, the child. Because the likelihood that you are going to get married is very little. She said, no, 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 no. Today she's 47. No husband, no child. A man at 47 can still have children. A woman at 47, no hospital will even collect you to born. You go spill, you will first put down like $10,000 first deposit abroad. Niger, your egg remains like half crates at 47. Then they go, they, release, they go release one this month, they go release the next one 2025. November, they're going to release that one one. Your egg will remain for your life, no rich half crate at 47. Women don't begin the pause for your life. <laughs> oh, I don't like to use sense. Huh? Oh, God. Sense. Now, the Bible says you must marry first before you have children. When you are a lonely spinster at 47, be reading Bible to yourself. If you don't want to have children, like Shade Ladipo says, she doesn't want to have children. She's not interested. It's all well and good. But you were one born. If you never see husband by 37, born. If you get man where you did date, born for him. If you get parents where wife said that they say born. Now, a problem I have is with women. Don't tie a man because you are 37 and you must give birth. You can't they look for man. You can't they use pin, take, put hole inside in protection so that if he give you belay, then once he give you belay, you won't make you pay child support. No. Any man that does not want to impregnate you does not need to pay child support. Because the Lori Brukule, you know. Some of you are Ileri boos. As I don't say, go born now. You don't look for one guy where they are, where, where don't they beg you knacks. Mm. Coco boy. You're picking call. You ain't know they ever picking call. You're picking call. Make it give you Bele. On to say, he go pay you child support. Now Bele is supposed to give you. Not be to pay child support. Ask him, if I get Bele, what you go do? If he say no problem, we'll raise the child together. Then no problem. If he say, I don't want Bele, one they not give man Bele where he don't want. Now bench, you won't bench you to him. Your usefulness is benching. No carry picking enter.
Your usefulness is benching. Admit it. You know. Oh, kukubulo. There's nothing you are there using you for. It's not like you can cook or clean. It's not like you have an idea that you can bring to a marriage. When they say, what are you bringing to the table? The first question you ask is, where is the table? Because, oh, tia, wulo rara. You don't even know what the table is that you are bringing. Not be where you know where table day if you carry something good there. I'm asking you, Neil. So when I say at 37, give birth, you are prepared to be the, to live the life of a single mother. If a man decides to assist you or claim responsibility, you are lucky. Some of you are wicked. They say one guy, now so one girl get belay for him. This guy can't grind. That pillow they take come out belly. He grind and grind and grind and put them inside shayo for the girl. The girl just come in the house. I say, if they do like say one sip the thing, the girl just collect them from my hand, sip and drink and finish. The guy they look at it as the last drop they go down her throat. He not reach three hours. <laughs> the picking come out. The girl can't see the tablet for her house. Can't say ah. The guy say I know what make you born. I tell you say make you not born. You not agree. Everybody can't they blame the guy. They can't carry the matter. Come meet me. I say the guy did what is right. He does not want to have a child with you. You don't know that when you have a child with somebody, forget the money. You are tied to that person's destiny for the rest of your life. Person will not get sense. You are not going to share destiny. You where your destiny be like underground train. Train inside tunnel. If no be say rails day where they guide you, you don't know where they go. You can't go tie yourself to Lori Bruku. The two of you can't join destiny together. You can't be like wobbly train underground. You don't know where they go. Somebody say that's pure evil because you are a woman and you are planning on giving somebody belly away no one collect. And the man could not risk it because once once na bele na bele once he born the pekin like this they will call your name and say hey now you get the pekin or come bring money the guy no buy you champagne when he won't bench you he no take you out he no give you transport money why you want make you come the race pekin with you raise your child by yourself lazy women if a man does not want to raise children with you stop dragging them into equations that they don't belong in Raise children only with men that want to raise children with you. Anyway, Niger nice. Hmm. Best thing give you belly. 50 cobble you no know, give you. If you go me time again, go complain, say not give you any money, he'll give you another belly. Only you get two belly. Niger. Sometimes Niger good though. Niger no be where they use pregnancy trap man. Niger. If you do anyhow, you collect another bele, only you go raise two children. But abroad like this, uh men. Carry your rubber da boo boo. Hold on for hand. In fact, wear two like socks. If the two not sure, wear Tilly. And don't sign anybody. Let me tell you something how it works in America. Even if nobody you be biological father, as long as you sign birth certificate. Oh, tie bye. Oh my tom or the college. No grease sign birth certificate. Too. If they put gun to your head, self, no grease sign. No. Not agree sign woman birth certificate unless you be a husband. Do. Now, another problem is women in their 30s want to raise kids. And then, because you are 30 years old at 37, for instance, you have stabilized in your life to an extent. You now want to spoil the child. You now want to give the child. They don't raise children are not your girlfriend that you shower with gifts. Children you have to raise properly. 
Everybody see say I drive baby freeze go school. Normally in a school bus they follow. Today na one off. Let him go and hustle. Let him go and understand what life is. Nobody ever became anything from an easy life. Even billionaires, they might have a lot of money, but the life is not easy. Don't create an easy life for your children because you think you don't want them to suffer. You are going to create suffer for them when you are gone. So let us come back to Lord Lamba and Queen. Lord Lamba and Queen have a child. A lot of people were now saying, why did the second husband carry the child in the pictures, the engagement, I mean, wedding pictures? And my answer is, the second guy now British. British know they think like Nigerian. I know a British guy who has kids, who is dating a British woman, who has kids, and the two of them want to marry. And they don't have kids. And they don't want to have kids. Me, I know if you marry a woman, we're not born for me. I've been a Nigerian man. But you see that British mentality, in a total, or even mentality, they're different from our own. When I say British, even if you be Nigerian, you don't grow up for their 20 years. Your brain don't change to their brain. You don't tune, they don't tune your brain radio to their frequency. You don't connect their channel. So they don't see life the way you Nigerians see life. Hey, some of you don't buy my stars. Make I hear them. Coco Boy music. What, Sherry? Coco Boy. So Nigerian man, no go gree. I, I, I didn't hear Nigerian stories. They will tell you, carry your children and go and give your ex if you want to marry me. A broad man, nobody like that. Go marry you, Tomo Tomo you. Your Peking don't turn in Peking. <laughs> now, so abroad people did. They're different from us. They are reasoning. They're different from our reasoning. So, all those of you saying, eh, you should not have carried the baby. Now, so abroad people do. When they love a woman, <clears throat> they love her, Tomo Tomo you. The lover and her baby knew. If you see a woman that has children, some women actually, in Nigeria, some women hide their children. They go and give their mother to raise, and then they will tell their mother is their, is her younger brother. So the mother too will cover up for her. Instead of saying nine picking, they will say nine younger brother. Women, don't be embarrassed of your children. Men, when you marry a woman, you marry her children, you marry all her problems, just the way she marries your own problems too. Try not to have too many problems, you two, when they are marrying you. Eh? Only you know if you be like tired with a gusho. Useless because they cannot roll and then you have nail where they worry you. May your problem not too many for this life is good. Nobody say make you not get one or two children or three or four children. Nobody say make you not get them. But bring something to the table. And when they say bring something to the table, everybody's expecting money. Sometimes bringing a stability, bringing a positive vibe. Nigerians are so greedy that when they say, ah, I want to marry a woman, she must bring something to the table. Sometimes what she gives you is a positive vibe. That's enough. Use it and lay the table. Sometimes she's bringing her care. She's giving you peace of mind. So you can go and walk and bring everything to the table. You too, if you have four children or three children or two children and you are marrying a man, you know you cannot go there and be lazy. You have to go there and also be useful. A woman that is divorced or a woman with two or three children, or a woman that is a single mother is not second-hand. She is as brand new as the one that you are picking up. One thin membrane for quick is not what determines the usefulness of a woman in life. 
For Lord Rosho Alakija says she won't divorce husband. The amount, she said over 100 people don't apply, say me there be a new husband. The value of a woman is no longer a little piece of waiting at the collar and wait doctor they help some people sew their own back so that you will look like you are holy. Somebody say Queen's baby is already calling the husband dada. Let me tell you, if you divorce and you remarry, your children don't get to papa. Let me speak English to you. If you divorce and you remarry, your children now have two fathers, a biological and a step. They are both your fathers. So if you don't want another man to raise your child, treat your women right. If you give woman belly, marry him if you love him. If you don't love him, that Peking go get to papao. Any woman that remarries after divorce or after having a child, that child will have two fathers. Because your mother's husband, where they climb your mama every night, they give her big, big, big. Your mama, they say, uh, 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 wait till you want to call her before. Brother, now your papa. Oh. Any man will mount your mama now your papa. Oh. Some of your, you wear your, una mama, they sell quick. Take feed you. Una get plenty, papa. Oh. Una no just know. By buying four. Hello, me, by buying two dozen. Any man will climb your mama, where your mama say, uh, 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 she cast it's okay, be a quiet. Now your papa. Any man will turn your mama around, give her fire from back, like dog. Now your papa. Even if now one night stand. Some of them, mama, we sabi do one night stand. Ah! When I enter market, we are just, you see your papa everywhere. Papa, 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 papa. You don't know this is going to happen. Person, bring your bola and put on for your mama out. Who am I? Now your papa, oh! Your mama can use and brush it. Now your papa, oh! <laughs> If I lie, decode my lie. Any man will mount your mama na your papa. Eh, he's not my real dad. He's not. If your real dad, is he the one still mounting your mother? You they form say no 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 it's not my dad that's not my father this is my father somebody else is mounting your father you are crying for your father where they don't throw away sins nobody is every night is climbing your mind say uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, punish me punish me destroy me oh scatter everywhere and that's not your father the one that they don't forget since two years ago we don't work on own go now that one still be your papa. Useless picking. Papa too. Way in wife don't remarry. Go call picking. Go on side. Say, don't allow him to be your father. Oh Lori Brookunia, you are a fool. Somebody is mounting the child's mother. Telling him not to call him daddy. What did you two do to make, keep the marriage? What did you do to keep the marriage? Woman don't run, leave you. They vex say they call another man papa. Any woman will remarry. If you get picking, the picking don't get to papa. If you remarry three times, we don't get to the papa. God save all of us. Even you, wait, your mama, they marry your papa on a day inside marriage. All your mother's runs, they are all your father's. That's why you would be rude to somebody for markets. We don't give your mama. We your mama don't shout. We she don't go heaven, come back. The way your mama go wreck you, go on and say, ah, he passed this guy. First me they carry your mama go cloud 9, cloud 10, cloud 11. They, they look cloud 12 like this. Your mama don't nearly go heaven, come back. So please, 
Let us learn. To give honor to whom honor is due. I don't talk my own finish. Make I open my life. They go soon cut me off. God bless you, my brother. Niger Prince One. We send me hundred dollars. Who one can't talk for this matter? Who one can't talk for this matter? Make gonna put mouth. We gonna put mouth. Nobody only me go talk today. No more is a table destroyed. Mrs. Linda, I'm bringing you. Other blessing, I'm bringing you too. Hey. Other blessing. Good morning, Bob. Let me let me let me dress up. Oh, yeah. Wear clothes. Um. Wear clothes. Okay, I was just, just laughing. At the table. And I never uh, see anything. Where's my nightshade? Um, I get plenty of South Africans watching me today. Are they sick? Male or females? Cherry underscore Afi. Who be Cherry underscore Afi? Send me a request. Okay. Hold on a second. Someone said this tree will get three legs. Now one leg you get. Now stone, they used to pack the other leg. And I don't they come on the stones one by one. Mm hmm Ada, over to you. Um, what, what do I say now? Please, uh, over to you. L Lord Lamba or... Um, Anything that I've talked about today is over to you. Or the whole Papa, Papa something. Let me ask you a question. If your yeah. mother remarries, if what? If your mother remarries, mm. Mm. what do you Hi consider dear. the man she married? Mary! Mary, you Hi. are in your me. Good morning. Good morning. Mary, don't they lose weight? When are you coming back to Nigeria to gain again? December. December. Don't worry. You see me December. Ah. <laughs> You see me in December. Oh. Mm. oh yeah, what I what is your take? Let me hear you, women. Ada, do you want to take the floor? Ada, Go take first. the floor. Honestly, I don't know what people were expecting. If the guy should have married her and asked her to leave her baby behind, I mean, it makes no logical sense, right? If you love somebody, you should love your kids. And this person is just a toddler. Me, yeah, I don't think that's a problem more. I feel like if you love somebody, you know this person is a single parent. You're getting into their lives and you're not going to, just because you're getting married to them, separate them from their kids. No, no. So I don't know. I don't know why it's causing a boss online, but to me, it's just okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mary of United Nations. <laughs> What yeah. is your take? Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. I believe everyone should have multiple chances at love. She tried it with her first um or the father of her baby and it didn't work out. And she needs to move on and find her own. So if she found someone who is willing to accept her and accept her kid, I don't see any reason why she should be bashed for it. And the whole issue of, oh, um, the child is calling you dada, you're trying to replace me. I don't think that's the issue. Like you rightly said, like once a woman remarries and she has kids from her previous relationship or marriage, that child automatically has a second father. Even from experience mm. from yourself, DF, like your taste buds kids, you, you care for them, you look after them, you bring them around, you take them on holidays. Like that's how it's meant to be. It's called blended family. So there's absolutely no way a uh, 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 queen will have a child and her new husband will not... If her new husband cannot love her without loving that child, absolutely. 100%. He has to love that child first before he can love her. He cannot separate her from that child. 
a mother and a child they are inseparable so that's how i look at it so there's absolutely nothing wrong in the child calling uh her new husband father and that's who I, he is that's who that baby is really going to be seeing so he probably will even take the lead itself. So people need to just relax. And it's, women marry single fathers every day. I have friends who are married to single fathers. And there's never an issue about it. This, these men have one kid, two kids, divorced. But they're married to them. And there's never an issue. So everyone should just relax. Even if I have a child tomorrow, maybe out of wedlock, I, and it didn't work out, I would want to have... A husband again right and i don't see anything wrong in having a husband and that husband inheriting my children as his own so people actually need to calm down if this was a man having kids and human you know being fresh out of her dad's house nobody's going to make an issue out of it so i don't know why people are setting up ring light and bashing the woman and saying hope the marriage will last and the marriage will last and it does not last it does not mean it was bad like people should just relax like let people do what works for them that's how i look at it so but you know everyone to each his own to be honest also, also i don't know why people are like taking this too personal this child is not even up to two or three so we're not expecting them to shut the poor child up whenever she comes with dada she's too young to even process what's happening mm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even know who. Daddy Freeze, Samaria called you one day on video call. Her child called you Dada. Yes, now. It's just okay for kids to call people that. So they should allow the child get to a certain age to now say, oh, okay, this is not my biological father. That's just a child. Mm -hmm. Definitely be and fond of any guy that is constantly around the mom, gifting her something. Or, I don't know. Another but, thing you need to understand is if you marry more than one husband, just know that it's going to be harder than you that marry one husband. Because you are now going to have to balance and manage your children and your new husband. If mm -hmm. your children don't respect your husband, your new husband, is going to make marriage very difficult for you. Exactly. So you also manage your children well. Some women don't know how to manage their children. Now children are in the way they are uh, uh, trousers are in the way the person. No. As a woman, are you born the children? If you see that their biological father is toxic, cut him off. Cut him off. If he's toxic, cut him off. You want to be happy in your home. If the biological father has sense, by all means, bring him in the picture. If he's toxic, he will destroy those children and destroy you because he's jealous and angry at you. I don't give you one update. <clears throat> They say it takes two parents to raise a child. Now, very nonsense thing. The most nonsense thing we are here in this life. Some parents are so toxic that all they deposit in the child is toxicity. And if you have a toxic parent, wrong. Yeah, they always talk out. I mean, I can understand why people think that men and women need to put hands together and then raise a child, though, but... If there's a toxic parent involved, then it won't make any sense at all. You want to raise child and raise child with somebody that is so stupid that all they want to do is spoil you in front of the child. The, ch the time the child is supposed to use to be growing and learning, he's using it to disrespect his mother. Or, his, or the woman is turning the child against the father. Mm -mm. You have those kind of people run from them. Your children will be much better off without them. I they always talk um, there was a period in my life where i did not need my dad he was toxic all he did was put me down and tell me i could not make it there are some children that did not survive that phase in their lives they just sunk into it i thank god i had my mother that's why i did not sink into it if if i was left alone for my father to raise i'll be an arm robber today i'm not making it up hmm. I want to see Una clearly well, well. It's so weird. When I go under some comment sections of some blog, I just keep saying, oh, hope the champion will do the job well. Hope the, I'm just looking at this like, like, people. Like people are saying, oh, hope her husband is going to do the job well. Hope he can keep up with it. Women will do this. And I'm like, ah. 
It's a red pill, guys, or what? I don't understand. Like, can you guys just let these people have their marriage? You said it's a red, works out. red something, guys. Red pill, guys. We call them red, red and blue pill men. I don't know what they call them online. Oh, yeah. All say what a red and blue pill yeah. guy means for those of us that don't know book. I mean, I think all those people that believe in um, certain misogynistic views, like that of Andrew Tate. So uh, they, they call them miso mis guys, misogynistic like that. Or Andrew Tate is useful, though. Well, some of their views are very left. You know, Daddy Freeze. <laughs> some, some views that are extreme. Even sure. the, God rest his soul, um, uh, Kevin Samuels, his, some of his views were extreme. Extreme. Like, extreme. And I'm just like, ah. It's not that deep now. Why are you why are you even demonizing women like this? But yeah, well, you know, everyone has their what they want and what they don't. Ada, what is your take? I've already given my opinion. It's no big deal to me. Hmm. 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 Mrs. Linda, where are you running to today? Mrs. Linda. Where is Samaria? Uh, I never see Samaria, baby. Maybe she's at work. Guys, where are what? you? Where are you? Where are you? I want to hear a guy's opinion on this. Make I bring Igbo man. Igbo <laughs> man's opinion will scatter everywhere now. <laughs> no, now. Just, just the watch. Because even if they go to court for custody, that child is too young to be left under no, the care of her dad. Carry and give. Yep. Yeah, okay. I agree. Can give man now. Why not be say? What thing won't tell them? Say she be winch. The only time you can get custody of a child as a man is if your woman is mentally unstable or she be olosho, and that can put the child in harm's way. It's very difficult for a man to get custody unless the, the judge like many of them are in Nigeria, do not know their work. Sometimes they have shared custody, mm. like. But the predominant, the um, the child will be domiciled with the woman. Child Women, where are you? Oh, I want to say old age. Don't come, Samaria. Don't go Jerusalem. <laughs> Where are all the men? Men, where are you? Where are you? Make I hear your opinion. I know who get much time. Uh -huh. Mazi Okoro. Come give us Igbo man opinion. Come and say, oh, if it's you, would you allow your brother to marry a woman that has a child? My brother can marry whoever Big he wants Clef, to Big Clef, just marry. send me $19. Thank you so much, Big Clef. Hi, Daddy Freeze. How are you doing, brother? Oh, yeah, let's hear I'm you. Fine. What's your take? Sorry, I'll be real quick. I'm on duty. Okay, no problem. Yeah. So, uh, my own take on the whole issue, I'm not against uh, single mothers getting married or not. My own problem is just the online showcasing is too much. It's too much. I don't know if they are trying to. I don't know. They are in, but there is too much information online, which is not good. So that's my own. Uh, that's my own take on the whole issue. It's not about what happens between she, uh, she and Lamba or between the husband and anything. Just that the online information she's putting on is too much. She's uploading every single step online, which is not supposed to be. But she's a married she's, woman, she's yeah. Influencer. Let's have for that. The deed has been done. The deed has been done, but she should limit the way she she posts everything online. That's my own thing. Okay. Thank you very much for your. Uh, All right, Daddy Freeze. Yeah. God bless you. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. I want another guy. I need a guy. Guys, guys, where are you? Let's have one more guy.
Oh ya. All right, guys, let me hear your opinion. I'm rounding off. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yeah, let's hear you guys. We are not getting light. As in, I know light. Oh, yeah, what's your opinion? My name is Emmanuel. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Yeah, good morning, sir. What's your opinion? Sorry? Good morning, sir. I hope you have an opinion. I do. I see that those ones no get work. I do. How you doing, my brother? Good. Um, this is a... Uh... Uh, life. All right. Uche um, Go ahead. Yeah. Um, the issue on ground, like, um, I have a daughter with my ex, and uh, I as well um, married as well. You know. So um, when I hear people say like, uh, say things like this, it's it's really annoying and unacceptable like every person deserves to be happy like you know so um when people are uh, bashing the lady and saying all sorts of things and that's wrong you know hmm. so that's my own opinion like people should allow uh, people live their life and do the things um, the way they want and the way they feel it's uh, okay by them so our opinion doesn't really count or doesn't doesn't really matter. That's my own opinion. Though. Thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much for this. All right, Tulu, you're you're you're, um, you're gonna give the final opinion for tonight. Hi, Daddy Freeze. Hi, Tulu. How are you doing? So, um, my take on it is, you know, uh, different strokes for different folks, different families, like um. I, I noticed that in a lot of families where the dad is in the pic is the uh, dad is in the picture. Even if the mom moves uh, on and marries someone else, the kids will still call their dad dad and find some other name for the new guy. But if it's a situation where the dad is no longer in the picture for whether you know for whatever reason if. Whether I he think, wants to be or I not. Think, if he's let, not me agree, let me tell you something. I think that depends on the mom. If your mother, if a woman is able to explain and convince her children that their stepdad is also their father, then they will have very few problems. I think, How would a woman do that? Oh, Con in Nigeria, you will do it. In Nigeria, it's easy. You see, abroad, we allow our children to have too many opinions. And there's a problem. In Nigeria, if my mother remarried that time and tell me, say, this is your new papa, wait till I want to talk. Now slap. By the time you disagree twice, they don't pull your hair, pull your ear, give you slap. Your brain will adjust. Exactly. But for Niger, because let me tell you something, it is a shame for a woman, a man that is mounting you at night, your children cannot call him. The thing their papa did to you, wait, you take, they take bond there. Another man, they do, and possibly better. 
and <laughs> any woman that cannot get her biological children to respect their step dad the woman herself na failure in my opinion uh, they can respect him but not, not call respect him is their father if their Picture. Is their father a person where they climb your mama and your papa? No, they will have two dads. I'm mean, calling yeah. two people. Yes, two now. Dads. Of course, it's like my my ex here yeah, is um she's she's married to uh, she's a um, Irish Irish lady, right? And she's uh, she's married, and my daughter as well called the the husband dad as well and calls me that too and i don't have any problem with that 100 percent. this is, ah, and this man na Igbo man this man no be ordinary and, Igbo man and and then um same goes to uh yeah, the child uh, she had with uh the uh, the guy calls uh as in my uh wife the my son uh calls uh they like my sister, my son and my daughter like they are like they are inseparable like you there's nothing they, they, they do everything together so when my son goes over to have a sleep um sleep over as well calls her as well mom yes now that is as in i like this guy <laughs> listen that if you cannot control your children on that level you have not you have not done well as a mother you know, so like because I you will suffer in your in your husband's because let me tell you, I have imagine I have children that cannot call me daddy. They will never get what my children get, and you will be the one that will be crying. It will pain you as a mother. It will pain you if the child if if the children call me uncle or they call me Mister so so and so, they will get what uncles and Mister so so and so give children. So listen, you are entering a man's house with your children. You want your children to have access to the man's privileges. But then they cannot call him daddy. Someone is asking that how old is my child? My daughter is eight. <laughs> and did did she start calling um uh, you dad on her own or did her mom make her? Well, um like you know how uh we both people are now. So uh -huh. I I was the one who initiated everything. My sister, my daughter can't come up and be calling the guy his name. It does doesn't make yes. it doesn't make sense in any way. I, you are not raising that child up well. In my in my own opinion. Let me explain something to you. Women are the most wonderful people on earth. When the man sits down, imagine na me now. I get money. You don't born two children for another man. You come marry me and i get plenty money i can't the budget how i go take send my children go harvard then i won't come send your own children go public school you know if you complain you can't complain they are not my children you understand what i'm you can't complain you now want me to do the same thing i'm doing for my children with my money for your own children that don't call me daddy <laughs> you will be there for a long time the, Someone like me, I will never be rude or wicked to them, but I just know my boundaries and my limitations. And I don't go cross that line. Anything where you need for this life, go meet your papa. That one where they call daddy. That one where they call daddy. A woman that is exactly. wise, whether or not lie, she go lie, convince, she go convince, fight, she go fight. She will make sure, because once the children call the stepdad, father he become it becomes his responsibility to raise them too exactly ah. <laughs> so women you have a lot of work to do especially you will go live abroad where you go they think say children get opinion raise your children in such a way that you put your opinions in them till they are 18 at least or 20. if not now you go still cry last last the face to go hard <laughs> because like uh, i see some in hard. some cases here listen to me eh? it's I, not some, hard. some like um some people would remarry and mm. their new husband would even adopt their children like legally yes, adopt now. their children legally adopt uh, okay so if they legally adopt your children what what is in is it not their father it, 
in that case, if if you if now you end up legally with that adopt man, them now, you that know you man cannot can legally adopt. For for those hold children. on, you cannot legally adopt children that their father also is dragging custody with you. So you know exactly. Yeah. So in that situation, what do you do? The father will tell you the father because men can be very wicked. We tell the children, don't call any other man, daddy. I'm your only father. I'm your only father. Mm -hmm. You understand? But then you want daddy yeah. privileges on two sides. You go just notice say anytime your new husband won't carry you go holiday. You go say make you go drop the children with their papa. Baba, eh? you go now you go pain as woman. It will hurt you. It will hurt you. That's why women need to learn how to manage these situations very well. Now you go pain. They go say, hey, we they go holiday now, we they go Spain. Oh yeah, carry your children, go give their papa. I have my own money now. I have my own money. I'll pay for the child. Ah, uh, no we, problem. Me, me and, the guy uh, go tell you say. The guy go change down for you. Go tell you say I want to go. The guy will tell you say I want to go only with my children. Never see men to go put their foot down. I Wait, want I, to I go. Hear that the, phrase. the guy will tell you I, I want said, to go only with been, my children. We have been on several holidays together. I want to go only uh, with my children. Like the four, like the four of us, like you know, going on holiday together. Wait, Daddy Freeze, what did you say? I said the man who said I want to go only with my children. Men too can be very petty. And, uh, no, we can go together, but I'll, I can if he wants. He said no, I don't want. Himself, I want only my children. Sorry. The guy who said I want only my children. Uh, uh, that one then that one is not married again now uh, not it's not again. married but you have a husband that your children are calling uncle or they are calling him bob <laughs> <laughs> now you know marriage jam now you know manager and well oh. now you know manager and well oh. i'm so sorry oh. now you know manager and well that's my take though i don't know what you guys think Someone said you should not even be with a man who wants to sideline your child. You sideline your child yourself. Nobody the man wants sideline him. You marry man. The man where you marry, where you born for, your children cannot call him daddy. And you are saying he's the one sidelining your children. Someone is saying that I have plans with my ex. I, I don't have a I no we need. are all in like, no we, went, we went to holiday together with both my wife and my son, my daughter and my wife, my uh, my ex is her husband. All of us went to holiday together. Yes. So what plan are you talking about? And everybody go respect himself. Nobody everything where the husband do where you go like, but you go respect yourself. Of course. Ah. Me, I go tell so you your new and your your ex and yourself and yes, your children no. all went together. Of course, yeah. Even there are things I don't know about my ex that my or my wife knows about. They are they 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 are like they are friends so they they talk a lot you know so there are things i don't even know about her that uh my wife will come up and say things like they said like oh i didn't even know about this so like i don't know why people say oh i have plans with her what kind of plan are you talking about they are feeble minded don't mind them everything to them it's is fun. black and white it's funny though well, that's the goal, the goal of a blended family, you know, to achieve that level of everybody, of Zen, where everybody is, you know, chill and going out together. But the reality is different, though. Like, <laughs> if the reality is different, if the, if the reality is different, it's because you as a mother did not manage the reality well. As a mother, you have to manage the reality of your home. It is your prerogative, nobody else's. Someone said, do you realize that as a stepfather, most women won't let you discipline their child? Any woman that does not let you discipline her child, anything where you get what? that child no go inherit town. May she discipline them herself. But about women, now, if you don't allow your stepchild to discipline your child, now you go suffer them as a woman. Now, so. now you go suffer them. Now you go suffer around. 
do you know that even with their own father, even as a, as a, as a mom, even their own father self, to discipline the children, a lot of women would can even like discipline their. I mean, physically like smack their children. But it, when it comes to the man smacking you, your you know your body doesn't take it. You can't take it. You're like uh, looking over there. You're looking over the, his shoulder twice. Not to talk of a new man disciplining like that kind of discipline. Maybe you can talk to them, but uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I well I don't I don't have my kids don't have another dad yet I have another dad so I don't know but I like the yet it's a very nice word yet <laughs> because they can and if they do what preparation have you made for it that is a multi billion dollar question a woman that does not allow her husband spank her kids is also a problem. Oh. Now problem is exactly. fine. Oh. Now problem. Oh. Mm -hmm. If both of if both um couple if the couple both of them um, idea of discipline is not the same, they're going there's going to be friction when it comes to disciplining um kids. That and you know kids are very manipulative, you know. God bless you, so, brother. If 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 that is the case, then I don't, th th those kids will bring uh, a problem in that marriage. Because 100%. kids are very manipulative. And once, very manipulative. once again, it boils down to the woman's problem. Exactly. It boils down once again to the woman's problem. You did not raise your children well. It's as simple as that. If you raise your children well, there are certain things that they will not try. So women, once again, the baton has been passed to you in this relay. Raise your children well. Men will not and agree with you. And, and especially those kids that feel like, okay, you, if you make them realize that, oh, you love me more than this person, or, or you are, uh, they, they do something, you favor one more than the other. That's a big problem as well. Because they, will, they, they are very manipulative. 100%. They always uh, bring, they always bring issues that like will uh, relate to that aspect, and it will be, always be a fight between both of you. So even when you don't disagree, or so maybe the way uh, your partner handled it, it, you shouldn't be discuss it in presence of those kids. Hundred percent. Anyway, guys, it's been a wonderful time with you all. Let me run. I've tried my best. You don't have to agree with me. You could disagree with me. But just remember that you can make your life easier or harder. It's all up to you. Tolu, my brother, God bless you. Thanks, dear. Good night, dear. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Bye.